Space, created by the Martians to destroy the human race. The FBI is helpless, it's 20 stories tall. What can we do? Who can we call? Call no more. The Ape Man. Call no more. The Ape Man. Faster than a rocket, quicker than a jet. He's a mighty robot. International Crime Prevention Headquarters. Your mail, sir. Thank you. Just leave it there. Our forecast is for this fair weather we're having to continue and the winds to stay calm. Ah, yes. Fair weather and all is calm. Even crime seems to be on a vacation. Good morning, Bertie. It's a beautiful day, isn't it now, Bertie? Good morning. And how are you today, Chief? Fine, Eighth Man. Uh, but I didn't call you. Uh, any reason why you came? Just like to keep in touch. It almost seems too quiet lately. Sort of a calm before the storm, so to speak. Anything exciting happening? Funny you should use that expression. Uh, we have a fellow in custody who rants about storms. What do you mean, Chief? Well, he was adrift in the South Seas when he was picked up by a fishing boat. We've confined him for his own protection. Out of his mind, you see. Talks about a storm machine he invented and someone stealing it. A storm machine? Yes, and he mumbles about a barren stormy, too. Oh, he's all mixed up. Hey! The weather was fine just a minute ago. What's going on here, anyway? I'll get that window. Well, Chief, I'd say the sudden weather change was a peculiar coincidence. A storm coming from nowhere like that. Well, it is just a coincidence, isn't it? Maybe. Black envelope. Let's see. Probably a crank. Hey! It's from someone who calls himself Baron Stormy and says that he's the weather wizard. How do you like that? I don't like it. It's strange, all right. He also says he'll send me a small storm, send a bigger one to the Metropolitan Commissioner, and a full-scale hurricane to the mayor. <laughs> it's ridiculous. He's a crank. But even though he is a crank, I still think you ought to investigate this eighth man. See what you can turn up. First, I want to talk to the man you have in custody. Then I'll fly to the South Seas and check the spot where the fishing boat picked him up. Why don't you use a plane for the trip? I don't want you to waste your strength flying down there. Right. Hold on, Chief. Hmm, cleared up already. Beautiful day again. That letter must have been some kind of a joke. Disguised as Tobor the detective, I visited the man in the sanitarium. He's in there, Mr. Tobor. Baron Stormy stole my weather. Hello there, fellow. What's your name? It's not Baron Stormy. Oh, it's great. Poor fellow. He certainly can't tell me much. It's Baron Stormy out there. What's that? A map? See anything familiar? My island. Baron Stormy stole my island. And my weather. There it is. I'm furious, you hear? What kind of a threat is this, using the weather as a weapon? I have no explanation, sir. As International Commissioner of the Crime Prevention Bureau, I get all kinds of threats. This letter threatens to send a storm, just for me. Guns, bullets, bombs, and now a storm. I've seen the note. Well, then, I hope you're investigating it thoroughly, Chief Fumblethumbs. Absolutely, sir. 
Well, you show me some results soon or else. At that very moment, I was on my way to the island indicated on the map by the man in the sanitarium. There are no suspicious ships and I don't see that island yet. What's that up ahead? A column of vapor coming off the water near that island and weather balloons. I've run into something here. Wow, that updraft is terrific. The water down there must be heated to send up such a strong current of vapor. The balloons are releasing dry ice. A column of heated air and now a dry ice seating. Someone's trying to start a storm here. And they're succeeding. It's getting awfully rough up here now. This is the Weather Bureau with an emergency alert. All weather stations, planes, and ships at sea are warned to maintain lookout for a severe storm, possibly originating in the South Seas. Repeat, keep sharp lookout for a severe storm originating in the South Seas. I don't know what it is we're supposed to be watching for. It's a fine day. Couldn't be nicer. The Weather Bureau gets excited too easily. What's that? The radar. Look. I don't understand. It's getting rough. There's good weather ahead for the rest of the week, says the latest Weather Bureau forecast. Oh. Here's the latest announcement from the Weather Bureau. It says we'll have gale to hurricane winds and rains tonight. What? Tonight? Hurricane winds, you say? And that night... The storm that I had seen building out at sea, the same storm that caused my plane to crash, roared in on Metropolitan City, just as Baron Stormy had promised. The mayor received a strange note. What? Send 20 tons of gold? Call a council meeting. The city has suffered great damage from last night's storm. I have called this council meeting to reach a decision about Baron Stormy's demand for gold. Come on in, Chief. We have all been waiting for you. You all know Chief Fumble Thumbs, I'm sure. As you know, he is Chief of Operations of the Metropolitan International Crime Prevention Bureau, of which I am Commissioner. Welcome, Chief Fumble Thumbs. Uh, how do you do, ladies and gentlemen? Chief, I assume you're aware of the threatening letter the mayor received from Baron Stormy. He threatens to hit us with a full hurricane unless we send him 20 tons of gold bars. May I see the actual letter, Your Honor? Certainly. There it is. I have shown you what I can do. That was just a sample. If you want to prevent a full hurricane, you will do exactly as I instruct. You must realize what a hurricane would do to your city. I sent you two trucks. I will give instructions through the truck radios. Load them with the gold and follow orders or suffer. The trucks are right out there. I see. And do you plan to pay him off? I don't know. I just don't know what to do. Eighth man would know. Where are you, eighth man? Here I am on that island that fellow told me about. Good thing I'm a robot. No human being could have survived that plane crash. Now I have to get my bearings. What's that? Looks like a solar energy converter. Probably provides the heat to create that vapor. Must be an atomic reactor underground, though. That solar energy converter wouldn't supply enough power for the kind of atmospheric reaction he needs. Well, I'll have to get inside that mountain. And it'll be interesting to meet this barren stormy. What's that? Well, he has two submarines to work with. And there comes the gangplank. I finally get to see Baron Stormy. I'll just watch and listen for a while. And there he comes. Hmm, quite a fellow. So that's the man who's causing all the bad weather. Well, he's certainly got some modern equipment. 
I think I'd better move in a little closer. I want to be sure I don't even miss a whisper. There, that's the way. Now. Now, men, we don't have to worry about Dr. Cumulus. He went out of his mind while drifting at sea. He's locked up in a sanitarium. So that's the name of that fellow in the sanitarium. It's familiar. I've heard that name. Well, Baron Stormy has gone below. I think I'll start by investigating that old building over there. Hmm. Hasn't been used in some time. Looks like it was living quarters for someone. Well, there he is, the man in the sanitarium, Dr. Cumulus. And now I recall completely. That picture shows him wearing his decorations and medals he got from his government. He was the greatest scientist in the Republic of Triopa. There's their flag. Hail, banner of Triopa. You banished me in disgrace, but soon Baron Stormy will return to claim his rightful place as dictator. With Dr. Cumulus' invention, I will conquer Triopa and then the world. With the Weathermaker machine, I can force all nations to pay tribute. And then, when I am ready, I can conquer them all. Now to go down and inspect my preparations. Followers of the Weather Wizard, hear me. I, Baron Stormy, have brought you criminals here to serve me from all over the world. Continue to follow Stormy, and you will be rich. Rich and powerful. Start the machine. We must create a hurricane in case we need it. Activate main atomic unit. Solar energy disperser B ready for radiation into position. Follow by activating all disperses A through F. We must start the heat and vapor reaction. Either they will send me every bit of gold I demand, or they will feel the power of Baron Stormy. Increase atomic activity. Follow by positioning and activating subsurface storm stimulator. Baron Stormy is really cooking up another storm. He plans to carry out his threat if he doesn't get that gold. I certainly can't let him get away with it. I'd hate to simply destroy the whole place, though. The equipment might have value to science. The spy spotter alarm, sir. It's flashing a warning. Someone is spying on us. Yes, sir. I will have to go out and get him. Get the ship. Here I am, Baron. I've been waiting for you to come looking for me. Well, here I am. I'm going to give you a chance to surrender and turn this equipment over to science, for the good of all humanity. Now, will you cooperate, Baron Stormy? Or must I take you by force? Cooperate? Why should I cooperate? Of course, I know your reputation as the robot that fights for justice. But I have more power here than you can dream of. You couldn't take me even if you wanted to. I control the weather, Eighth Man. The lightning, thunder, wind, and waves. And that power should be used to help man control his environment and not for evil purposes. Why don't you surrender while you still can? We'll see about that. This lightning gun will show you what I mean. Feel the power of Baron Stormy. There, Eighth Man. Foolish man. Now you force me to take away your power. Brainless robot. Back now, I'll show you about power. I'll get you. You cannot escape the lightning gun of Baron Stormy. I'm beginning to feel weak. Need a power booster too badly. Must take. Oh. Ah. Goodbye, nuisance. <laughs> Oh, 
hoist hurricane warnings immediately. There are too many people at stake. We must pay. Get the gold ready, gentlemen. Yes, Yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Get on the truck radio, Fumble Thumbs, and tell Stormy to stop that hurricane. All right, sir. I still don't like the idea. Paying that crook off isn't right. Calling Baron Stormy. Calling Baron Stormy. Can you hear me? Of course I can hear you. This is an excellent radio. Is this Baron Stormy speaking, eh? This is the Baron. You monster. Watch your language. The government has decided to pay you your 20 tons of gold. They have made a wise decision. So stop that hurricane. Trust the gentleman's word. Thank you, Baron Stormy. Ha, who would call him a gentleman? I'll ignore that wisecrack. Just deliver the gold to Pier 13 tomorrow at noon. You'll get the gold. Just trust a gentleman's word. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at Stormy Island. I must get my strength back. Baron Stormy must be stopped. If he gets that gold, other criminals will be encouraged to demand money by terror. The power booster tube seems to be working. My electronic brain is clearing up. Ah. You know your orders, men. The gold will be waiting at Pier 13. Get there at noon. Load it on the cruiser and come right back. I'll be waiting. So they'll be at Pier 13 at noon, eh? Well, I think Eighth Man will arrange a little surprise party. Prepare to dive. We'll approach the harbor underwater. I have permitted the submarine plane to leave, since I plan to upset their plans take care of the weather maker at the same time. It's one minute to twelve. They're due here soon. I'd like to get this over with. Do you see a boat yet? No, sir, not yet. Wait a minute. It's a submarine, sir. I see it. I can tell it's a submarine. You're in charge here? You're Chief Bubble Thumbs? That's right. Then turn over the gold bars immediately. They're right here. Thanks. Okay, submarine, get those planes moving. Hey, is that the truck radio I hear? Chief Fumblethumbs, calling Chief Fumblethumbs. That's Eighth Man on that radio. Fumblethumbs here, go ahead. Don't give them the gold. Arrest them and seize the submarine. What? But what about that hurricane? I'll take care of that and Baron Stormy from here. Just do as I say, please. Darn it. We're in trouble. I'll show you, Chief. I'll do as you say, Eighth Man. This is bad. Get out of here. Let's get out. Hurry. Confounded. What's going on there? Pilot, report. I said report. Sir, Eighth Man is broadcasting from the radio room on Stormy Island. Eighth Man, I'll have to take care of that nuisance. Why did you leave that cold? Go back there and get it right now. Impossible, sir. Too many police. That's an order. That was a crazy turn. He's going to crash. Eighth man. I'll get my revenge all right. Eighth man calling fumble thumbs. Ah! I missed him. On the alert. Catch eighth man. Find eighth man. Find him and destroy him wherever he is. Get that robot. Now, they've ruined my plans. We'll give them the biggest hurricane the world has ever seen. Start the machine full blast. Start it, Carolyn. Yes, Full power from the reactors. Set the computer for maximum level. Cut off the safety switches. Solar energy dispersers in position. 
Submarine storm stimulator activated. Potter, higher! I want the biggest hurricane ever seen! Come on, give me more power. All it can take and then more, do you hear? <laughs> The reactor is practicing. Let's get out of here. My own men are deserting me. Cowards! Stop that machine before it's too late, Stormy. You again? I'll show you. Hey! My gun! You took my gun! You still can't stop the weather machine, do you hear? You'll destroy my island! You can't do this! Stop it! Take off and get out of here quick. Now we can take off. As I brought in this gang, I wondered what other fantastic weapons would face me in the future. In any case, I had to be ready. Eighth man reporting. My mission is accomplished and I'm ready for further action.